Jelly, Nick from Beer Engineers, uh, still on tour, so in a uh, Airbnb uh, down in Somerset, and I haven't really got anything Somersetty for you, but what I have got is a beer that I've not tried. Now it's been a long time since I've drunk any Brew Dog, to be honest with you, um, and this is Brew Dog Triple Hazy Jane. So I had Hazy Jane back in the day. It used to be pretty good, to be honest with you. And this is the triple version coming in at 9.5%. Okay? Um, I'm not going to go into the whole brew dog thing, but I think, suffice to say, I, I don't buy brew, uh, brew dog anymore. Um, Punk IPA, 10 years ago, wasn't it, mate? It was beautiful. It was really good. What I would say, a West, more of like a West Coast IPA. Uh, IPA. And nowadays it's been, it has, it's been dumbed down. It's not been snobbish or elitist or whatever. Um, it has been dumbed down, both in ABV and in the hoppiness, just 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 for the mass market appeal. That's fine. You know, it suits that uh, market, you know, supermarket beers, that sort of thing. And like I say, I haven't, I was out getting some bits in the supermarket, saw this, think it was a fiver, which is pretty good for a triple IPA, to be honest with you. I mean, you've got to be paying, what, seven quid now for a triple normally? For, a you know, like a polys or an overtone triple, that sort of thing. So, doesn't tell you anything other than, other than um, I mean, the, there is the ingredients and whatnot, but um, doesn't tell you what hops are in it. Just says it's a New England IPA from 9.5%. 9, 9 so what we got there? Um, apologies for the lighting in here, like I say I am on tour. It's a, there's a bit of haze to it. It's certainly far from the most hazy sort of beer we've reviewed on this channel. Sort of like a deep amber, slightly hazy beer. Uh, we've got um, half a finger of slightly off white head. Let's go for the nose. It's alright. Um, one more game. Again. Peachy, <sighs> I'm getting peaches, but I'm, I'm getting, I'm not imagining this. It's like an acetone smell coming off this. Oh my god, what have they, what have they, what have they added to it? Yeah, I'm getting like nail varnish remover off it. Paint stripper, that's not a good sign. <laughs> and it's not bullshit, literally. I didn't come into this review wanting to hate this beer. I wanted to like it because um, I did like Hazy Jane back in the day and I love triple IPAs. But yeah, I'm getting paint and then, uh, sorry, um, peach and then paint stripper. I can ask the tone. <laughs> Let's dive in, chin chin. Okay, it, it, it's not bad. Uh, I'm not, I'm not tasting that acetone, that paint stripper. Maybe a little bit at the end. Mm. Trouble is, though, the, the the smell of it is rich. So when I'm drinking it, I'm just getting like a a lung full of like nail varnish remover, which isn't nice. Um, but. Oh, no. A faint sort of almost peachiness, but then you're hit with this alcohol, this... Um... Yeah. Like a meth C acetone nail varnish remover type uh, smell taste. It's not terrible, it's not great. Um, I mean, it's a fiver for a 9.5% beer, so. But, um, you know, if, if ABV was, is just your uh, destination, then I'm sure you can, um, 
you can get four, what is it, four, four, I'm guessing 4.1, 4.2 units in that can by some sort of, you know, rock up cider, probably. And that's, well, it shouldn't be to, you know, to this market. So, yeah, a bit of peach and then that's it. It's just alcohol. Um, rating. It's not nasty, but I, I just feel like I'm drinking. I feel like I should be hunched over in a, <clears throat> I don't know, <laughs> on a park bench. It, 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 it's, it's, that's what it tastes like to me. Um, which is a shame. So I, I did come into this wanting to like it, but <clears throat> you compare this with a, an overtone or a, a polys or a, um, any any of uh, any of those sort of breweries um, triples, and it's nine day. It's nine day. Which is a shame, but nevertheless, uh, so when we're rating this, I'm going to give it five and a half out of ten. Five and a half out of ten, so I won't be going back and buying this again. For a triple Hazy Jane. Hazy Jane was a great beer back in the day, at least I remember it. So is it me that's changed or is it the beer that's changed? Probably a combination of the two in fairness. But yeah, five and a half out of ten, I won't be going back for more, but you know, at least I've tried it, at least I've... Uh, you know, crossed it off the uh, the bucket list. When I'm in the supermarket next time, you know, if I'm if I'm going past the beer, I at least can say, you know, I've dipped my toe in that water, and you know, good for me. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.